I can. Okay. So, okay, I will start. So, hey, shh, let me talk now. <laughs> it's my fault. I know I started. Okay, I need to stay here. They told me that go around. So, stop to uh, just jump all the, you know, all the intro. And uh, the agenda will be, uh, I will do a small step back just to let you understand my mentality and how I try to approach things and then why we have uh, why we use hash join and uh, what kind of test baseline I build up and then the test between different distributions uh, for uh, for hash join and then my con personal consideration can you hear me on the back yes perfect so uh, these numbers come from uh, uh, a city that is um, somewhere in an island that uh, is not part of Europe anymore, which is London. And uh, um, okay, I, I was trying to figure out some statistics, and uh, actually London was the only one giving me quickly some numbers. Uh, and we have 10 million people, and we have 60,000 uh, different uh, streets that can be that are reported. So far, I, th that's what they said, and 30,000 different uh, professions or you know work categorization. And m if, as a human being, if I think I want to know uh, who is a physician in that specific building that is in front of me, I, per I you know I realize I just picture in front of my my eyes uh, someone so people that is living in front of me, and these are uh, physicians, right? Something like that. Now, uh, how a remote database, uh, a remote, sorry, a relational database works is totally different, right? It tries to optimize what it is looking for based on the information it got by each table and by the number of rows. So it's trying to optimize the things. So for instance, we can have a plan saying, uh, let's start with the streets. And so we have one street, one address at the end. And then identify all the people living there let's say 40 people living in a build, in that specific building, and at the end, how many physicians we will have, just one. And that is a possible plan, right? Another plan that looks like very similar, actually if you check, the first one is starting with more rows number, the second one starts with less number, with less rows, say, okay, no, let's start with the professions category, right? And see how many professions uh, are in, uh, are you looking for? So filter for, for, for profession, uh, I am looking for a physician, so one row. Uh, then filter the 10 million people, and then at the end, fil fil uh, filter for the address. Now, if you, those two things looks like very close and uh, quite the same, but they are not. If you use an index on the different uh, tables and you do the calculation, the first pl plan will result in more or less in 10,000 uh, rows uh, uh, lookup. I mean, it will look for 10,000 rows, while the second one will look for 600,000 rows. If we remove the indexes, the scan will cost us 10 million rows in the first plan and then 17 billions for the second one. I think this is a huge difference, don't you? They were not the same at all, right? Okay. And also if the second one was looking as the, the best option because start with the table, the smaller table, it actually doesn't work well. It, it's failing. There is all the calculation. If I have to show you all the calculation, we will stay here until uh, uh, Fred's speech. But so trust me, that that was coming up. And this is why we have hash join actually, because uh, no, no, why? This is why. Why we have hash join? We have hash join because in case like uh, uh, the first. Uh, the first case, the first column here, uh, that use an index, we have, um, this is coming from, uh, yeah, from, uh, all the tests comes from DBT3, and uh, on each test I have reporting that when there is an exception or there is something to say, I report the, the, uh, the query number so you can go back and check and analyze what I'm saying. Um, the data, for instance, if I use an index, the data used for that specific nested loop, index nested loop, cost 12 megabytes. If I remove the index and the same kind of 
block nested loop at that point that is uh, going through, uh, you know, the full scan will cost one gigabyte. So there is a huge increase of dimension and number of rows that needs to be parsed, right? And scan variable, we know that, uh, and when scan takes place, we have a block nested loop, and this is why we have hash join. That's to help us to prevent that. Now, um, and if with the new MySQL uh, um, explain with three, you can easily see when there is an hash join and what kind of uh, things it does. Now, uh, Eric already explained everything about hash join. I'm not going to repeat. Uh, just brief mention, we have a lot of MariaDB people mounting itself, uh, but I'm not going to explain hash join in MariaDB. I'm just saying uh, using the, I called old MySQL iterator to differentiate to the new MySQL iterator, but it's the a MariaDB MySQL iterator, classic hash join uh, approach, equicondition subjoin, and different algorithm, right, that it, for the block nested loop. But we are interested only for the, to the hash join. Now, I was not sure to show if I would show that, but I will. Uh, this is an image coming from uh, uh, MySQL showing the difference between, uh, in performance between uh, block nested loop and hash join. But to me, this is misleading because that assumed, and, and sorry, this also used um, dbt3 as test, and you can see the query on the, on the bottom. Um, I think this is misleading because it gives you the idea that everything works perfectly uh, much better uh, using um, hash join, but this is true only when you remove all the indexes. And uh, you know, we know that dbt tests use multiple hash, multiple joins, and I don't think there will, be, there will be one single DBA here that will remove all the index in production uh, to do the, you know, to, to make, to see if this is more efficient or not. So in my opinion, when we analyze these kind of things, we need to analyze the things removing maybe just one index in the join and, for, and, to, and see what is going to happen with a mix of nested loop for the index and hash join. Okay, which for me is more real than other situation. Uh, the test I have done uh, for the baseline, I was using dbt3 uh, dbt with uh, factor one and factor three, uh, factor four. Factor one fit in buffer pool, factor four doesn't fit in buffer pool. And um, MySQL 80819, PS018, uh, MariaDB 10412. Uh, and everything was more or less configured as a default except the buffer pool dimension. I had adaptive hash uh, index disabled and the buffer pool, the gem buffer pool to one gigabyte for one specific reason, but the, because I don't want to spill it on disk as much as I can, okay? Everything should be in memory. Now, from the first round of tests, what came up is that uh, lower is better. And from the first round of tests, what comes up, this is against standard dbt3 dbt3 uh, DBT with all the indexes, right? Uh, we have that db factor 1 and db factor 4 are more or less, the trend is more or less there. And what it seems, what it seems is that MariaDB is going, uh, is taking longer. Monty, stay there, don't worry. <laughs> stay there. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but... Yeah, it, it looks like it's taking longer, and actually, it, it, the sum of the time is is higher, right? But if we start to analyze uh, how many times this distro has been really, for real, more uh, efficient than the others. So how many times My, MariaDB or uh, MySQL has been more efficient than uh, Percona and MySQL, we will see that the, the, we have a, almost an equal distribution. Just one query, two query are different, right? And this is, so what's going on here? What is going on is that we have the two distribution doing more or less the same thing, except few cases. And this is for dbt tests with the indexes. Now, the hash join run, I, w I did only with uh, factor one because I want everything in buffer pool. Again, I try to minimize the disk. 
um, only few queries are relevant, so the, the ones that have very significant hash joins. And, um, uh, and I also didn't ke kept separated per corner and mask well, they use the same algorithm. Um, and interesting was that some queries were hung unless few changes, right? And the tests were done with buffer pool empty and then redone again with the buffer pool filled because you will see what happened. And at first run, what is, comes up is totally the contrary. MariaDB is much more efficient than MySQL. In to the total time that is actually taken by MariaDB is less in executing the, uh, uh, the joint. And this is interesting because that is for hash joint total time and with the base with the index, we saw that there, there were some difference. Keep in mind that, that I was summarizing here not all the queries, but just the one that I also ap apply for the hash join. So the results are a little bit different from the previous graph. But again, if I start to count how many times was MySQL better than uh, MariaDB or yeah, vice versa, how many times MariaDB was better than MySQL, we see that with the buffer pool empty, uh, MariaDB was nine over six, and the buffer pool uh, field was eight over seven. So guys, we are there, right? No? Okay. And again, why so? Uh, the query execution time, uh, here is the buffer pool empty, tell us that Again, once more, the two distro are very close one to, uh, uh, to the other in, in, their, in how they perform, except few cases. In few cases, we can see that um, the MySQL run was dramatically worse than, uh, uh, than the one in MariaDB. And we have, for instance, query 19 that is taking much longer or query 2 that is taking longer as well. And then we have a special case here that I will describe as an interesting case that is uh, the infamous query 5. And uh, Eric, you <laughs> we have been, uh, yeah, working on that. Interestingly, um, when the buffer pool is um, actually filled, the my uh, MariaDB is in some cases less efficient than before, uh, and uh, and MySQL is able to gain a little bit of uh, you know over it. But again, as we see, the query that were not correct, the query that were taking long, they were still taking long. And here we have an example, query five. Uh, with index, the query 5 takes 71 seconds in MySQL with a buffer pool empty and uh, 5 seconds with buffer pool failed. In MariaDB, it takes 70 seconds and 4 seconds, 88. So MariaDB is better, MySQL takes a little bit uh, longer, but it's a matter of few, you know, few things. It's not really too much. In a hash join, with hash join, we have that the first run the first run is great. Uh, I can't believe it that. Okay, the, uh, the first run for uh, uh, buffer pool empty in uh, MySQL take 44, 447 uh, seconds, and MariaDB 955 seconds, so MySQL is much better. But the second run in MySQL take, Eric, how many hours? Yeah, it's 47 hours. It takes 47 hours. Actually, I was killing the query and say, okay, that it, I reported that to our guys, my friends. I love you guys. So you know I love you, but it was, it, it was 47 hours. And uh, yeah, and uh, the problem here was that actually the, the plan was changed by the, um, the, the, the optimizer and uh, it, it was not recognizing correctly a few things, and it was executing crazy query. 
we, in fact, in the first run, the run with the buffer pool empty, we were having data read per join for that specific join only 129 gigabyte. But in the second run, when the buffer pool was uh, filled, it was doing uh, four terabytes there, data, just because it was reiterating and doing the thing, right? Wrong plan. Of course, there, there, there are way of fixing this, right? And uh, the one way, the trick to make it work better was to change the cost in the MySQL engine cost table to say, hey, this query, uh, the cost of the query is the same either if you use memory or if you use uh, uh, the disk. Wait, 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 <laughs> Simon, wait. And, um, and actually it works fine and, uh, and it works fine and the time at the end was uh, acceptable. Uh, but the, obviously that cannot be used in production, right? Because you cannot change the cost model in production. You will screw up all your applications. Well, you screw up uh, the access to the application. Um, there, there is another case that I was mentioning to you, the query 19 with a hash join was, uh, uh, yeah, the query 19 with the hash join was, in MySQL was taking 10 minutes and 57 seconds, and uh, in MariaDB was taking two minutes and 70 seconds. But the interesting part here is if you check the plan, it's totally different. The plan from MariaDB was starting with the small table, index, blah, blah. The, par the plan with, from uh, uh, MySQL was starting with uh, uh, the part table, using word, filtering, whatever. And it was not going very well. I guess this is not query 19. Pardon me? I don't, don't think you are on query 19 now, but don't try to hit me because. I don't get it. Uh, maybe, maybe you're right. I, I have the notes. If you want to let me fix that, I will fix. Doesn't change. The results are the same. <laughs> Doesn't change. But the hash join was not using there, I guess, right? Uh, no, the point was the order. Uh, the point was the order and uh, actually, uh, actually was doing the nested loop exactly because it was not doing at the end what it should do. And in fact, if you change the join order, and you set this exactly the same join order, well, actually it's still, uh, uh, well, it's a reposit block nested loop, but actually in the, if you do the plan with the tree, you see the hash join. But it's, uh, the, the difference is that when you're using the other pl plan, the plan will bring you to two minutes and 18 seconds, exactly the same thing that MariaDB was doing. So it's, it was a plan. So what is at the end, so guys, that we are talking about one second. No, we're talking about one second here, one second there. What's the difference here? What that makes real the difference? What, where the problem was is the, the optimizer, okay? Be, why? Uh, I'm almost there, I think, in terms of time, right? Yeah, but I, I, I'm checking. I'm 23 minutes, so I should, uh, I should stop. Yeah, all the time. I, I have the it's clock here. Okay, well, for a question, I know there will be questions. So, um, so consideration. The problem here is that yes, the two implementation are very, they, they perform more or less uh, at, at the same, well, similar. Okay, they don't, they are absolutely not the same thing. One uses one algorithm, another one uses a different algorithm. One can spill to disk. We don't, in this test, I didn't use, try to did not use the spill to disk having join buffer quite large, but of course, if I have a, you know, I a spill to disk anyhow, because sometimes the, the join that was bigger than one gigabyte, right? So it was not fitting in memory, right, Eric? So it was, in any case, in any case, use that. Uh, but I was trying to reduce in that. The point here is that changes are very minimal. What instead makes the huge difference is the optimizer. And the problem is that I don't think that we have the hash implementation talking correctly with the optimizer. My perception is that whatever we see here is because the optimizer needs to have 
a little bit more information in order to be more precise in choosing the right plan. How you guys can do it, I have no idea. <laughs> but my point here is, as it is right now, we may have similar issues in production and affect the production, right? Uh, much worse than a, a block nested loop that is known, it will, uh, it's already implemented, it's there, it will take what it will take, but at least is predictable more or less, right? It's already considered. Um, I'm not saying that ha hash join is bad. Actually, hash join is good. I'm just saying that we need to have a better way and better mechanism, a better way to provide feedback to the optimizer. And, uh, okay, the MySQL has joined with spill to disk is totally different conversation. It needs to have comparison, you know, pairs with pairs, not, not with something different. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, instrumentation. MariaDB, please give us a little bit better instrumentation to analyze the, the hash join itself. Because uh, the only way we have right now is to do the JSON, ex, uh, you know, explain JSON, which is not enough. Uh, we don't have all the numbers that we may need. But the, I, the question is that uh, implementing a certain new format like three is not adding more information. The current one is three. Yeah, I don't care if it's three or if it's JSON. Just give give us more, uh, more detail. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and the other thing is, in order to given this feature let's say it's still new. I would say, please give us the option to play around it, enabling, the disabling, enabling the other, disabling the other for debug purpose. Because if you just force all of us to go in one direction, that will be a, a wrong thing to do. I mean, we need the option to say, okay, use hash join, use block nested loop, use this, use that on, uh, on you know, on, on the session, of course, but really to be sure that that is what is going to happen, right? Um, that's it. Thank you. Question. <laughs> Do we have time for questions? Yes. And, yeah. Uh, I, I am not sure that I can answer, by the way. Oh, uh, filled, filled by, okay, the question was, thank you, the question, can you repeat the question? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, the question was um, what I meant when I was saying buffer pool full. I, I, I meant, I was saying buffer pool filled by the query, meaning that the query had already executed uh, in order to be already read all the data from the disk and put the data as page in the buffer pool. So the next run, it doesn't have to go on disk, but just read the data directly from... Uh, didn't get slow? Pardon me? Didn't one of them get slow? Didn't? The <laughs> yeah, no, no, no the, the one that was going slower because the plan was changed and was uh, ineffectively doing that. Right, right. Don't kill yourself. Yeah? But there was no concurrent joins. Just, I. Well, wait a second. If I put a join buffer to one gig, I'm giving MariaDB some benefit because I'm giving you more space because they can spill on disk. While with uh, with MariaDB, if I understand correctly the implementation, and please correct me if I'm wrong. If I have a smaller join buffer, and the, the other settings I'd never remember the, that is related to the join buffer itself, also the, uh, well, yeah, there is another one that is correlated. So I, I give you the space, I give MariaDB the space to work as much as close as the, in memory, as much as close as the hash join. Yes. Yeah, no, that was on purpose to give, oh, oh, you know, to, to try to compare, per, I mean, Apple with Apple, because the implementation is different. Well, 
No, okay, that one it was a specific case, but on the others, I have, if you want, I can share with you my text file with all the notes, and you will see, okay? Any other question? No? Okay. Oh. Immediately after. Yeah. Uh, so this was not the average or mercury one, just one run. One run, yeah. Because I, I've seen that sometimes the very land from my SQL kind of struggles with it because I think there's something wrong with the statistics in Italy because I think the flash is less in memory than it actually is. Fix it! <laughs> Good, fix it! <laughs> yeah. You can fix it with the flash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much guys. Thank you.